Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and I'm gonna to talk to you about the new moon coming in Pisces, coming March 17th, which is also St. Patrick's Day. Really excited, I'm totally, like, <laughs> I really get excited about that holiday uh, that we celebrate here. Uh, I think I just like green and glitter, honestly, but either way, this moon is gonna be at 27 degrees of Pisces. Now this moon is a new moon. So when we have the new moon, it's the ending of a cycle. Right, that's what every new moon is. It's the end of a cycle, it's beginning the next 28 days. So we're going to not have completion like we do at the full moon, but it's an invigorated kind of energy. This is that we plant those seeds of intention. What's next for the next 28 days? Because we just ended this 28 days, right? It's a very, um, powerful spot for a new beginning. Now, this particular new moon that we're gonna have, this is my phrase for you. Sometimes you have to have a breakdown before you have a breakthrough. And I absolutely believe that that's what this moon is about. I mean, we have been going through some things. We've been shifting, we've been changing, it's been slow. Many of us have felt cloudy, even though things are happening and they're moving forward very positively, right? there's still these things coming up where there's kind of a hold back a little bit. And now it's time to progress forward. This moon is going to be in conjunction with Chiron, also going to be making aspects to both Mars and Uranus. And actually, um, the Mars and the Uranus energy here are so good. I'm gonna talk about them because they bring some innovation to the table for us. The big focus I wanna pull in here this time, you guys, is looking at this moon's interaction with Chiron. Chiron is our wounded healer and he is, he knows how to help you. He knows how to give his service. He knows what to say. He knows how to help you cross the bridge from, oh my God, to I'm going to be okay because he's already been hurt in the exact same way, right? So he takes his wound and from his wound, he says, I identify with you. You guys both walk to freedom by healing you. Chiron is healed. So here we are at the moon, right? And we've got this new moon. In order to move forward, you have to address the wound that is still open. You have to address the past hurts. For some people, what this is going to look like is we're going to address issues of childhood. We're going to address issues of sexual assault. We're going to address issues of trauma and abuse. We will address those things. We will address anything hidden, addiction. This could certainly come up at this time. For other people, where I think that this comes up is just, you know, if you're connecting and you're feeling guidance from that, the other world, if you're feeling like somebody has just recently died and you just you have this idea around death right now or your own personal death or man my life is changing so much and I'm still not sure where I'm going all of these things as a wound think of them as a wound you guys they're open and they get exposed to the surface because they've got to be healed now this is where Mars comes in Mars and Uranus together are actually quite warring energy. So they can create conflict or crisis and you've got to have a breakdown before you have this breakthrough. They've got to come up. There's no way to weed the garden. There's no way to plant a fresh garden without getting those nasty weeds out, right? You just can't do it. It's just gonna, the weeds are gonna take over and you're still gonna be stuck. And it's the same thing here. We're just getting some of these things out of your soul. We're undoing some karma. They don't belong there anymore. Now, in creating that conflict, especially anything of the heart, anything from the past, loved ones, old relationships, I need to put closure on it, um, I'm really sad that I lost that job, oh, I feel like I let the situation get away too, man, I feel like I haven't had my schedule under control, I wish I had more meditative time, whatever it is. They create the chaos and the conflict and then the Uranian energy swoops in here, you guys, just like to the rescue with innovative ideas, right? What's a new way? What's a new development? What's a new path? What's a new plan to take care of this? How do I heal this wound, right? How do I get a different structure? How do I get a different schedule? How do I get a different system? Plant those seeds of intention at this moon and allow a new idea because it's got to be a new idea coming to the surface now so that it can meet some action on how to heal that wound, how to fill that gap. Here's the other thing, guys. If you have been feeling at all 
like there's a hole somewhere within you or a hole somewhere within your life or a hole at all. The universe will not leave a hole. It doesn't work like that. The universe is not that unkind. This is your opportunity to say, hands open, heart open. I allow you to heal me. I allow you to help me heal. From the breakdown, we're going to have a breakthrough. There will be new opportunities, new information you can use to heal and move forward. That is a delicious, delicious way to use a new moon, especially right here in conjunction with Chiron. I love you guys. I cannot wait to see what comes up at this moon for you. We've been doing some shifting. We've been doing some changing. Things are moving forward very slowly because Saturn has just made a move, but they are happening. Your magic, your beauty, your contribution, your soul is here in this physical plane for a reason. You have something to offer. And if you find what you have to offer in your pain, if you find your book, if you find your blog, if you find your support group, if you find being able to reach out to somebody in your family and connect differently because of this moon, breathe it in. Everything here, every piece of this purge is useful and it's your brand new beginning. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'm getting the April scopes ready right now. I can't even believe it. And I'm writing my eyeballs off over here, but I am thinking about you guys. I love you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys.